What's going on y'all? We are out here today and have something a little bit different planned for the channel today. Y'all check this thing out. So we now have the Hemaway Zebra fat tire e-bike. Y'all check these tires right here. I have been testing this electrical bike out for a couple of weeks now and this thing is an absolute game changer to shore based fishing. I have an awesome trip planned for y'all. We're going to be taking this e-bike all around the island and uh yeah i'll talk to y'all a little bit more about the bike as we go on with the video uh but we're gonna also try to get on some fish can't wait to show y'all this so as i stated this is the himaway zebra right here fat tire electrical bike got a big battery pack right here um, and this guy goes 25 miles per hour and has a range of 80 miles so really really incredible bike uh, but i went ahead and rigged up you got a basket on the back of it right here and i went ahead and rigged up a, a milk crate zip tied it on there to give me a couple of rod holders and inside there i also got some water some snacks my batteries cameras a couple of lures stuff like that uh, but yeah all in all pretty cool little deal let's go ahead and hop on this thing Run on down the island. We're going to try to get to a fishing spot. All right, go ahead and pop that kickstand off right there. Got a digital display screen right there. Little throttle. Just pull that throttle and we're off. all right so that thing right there was pretty doggone sick we're sitting here riding around on this soft sand a mixture between hard sand and soft sand and we were able to get this thing up to 19 20 miles an hour so i'm just absolutely pumped i'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these rods and uh, this is where we're gonna start fishing right here so i did bring two setups with me over here i have a yozuri popper might be changing that lure out but pretty big setup in case we see any kind of tarpon or jacks or bull reds or anything like that in the area and then i also have an old finesse set up right here for some speckled trout and flounder and uh yeah so two different setups go ahead and start off with the popper this morning first cast going out Didn't pick up anything on the popper, so went ahead and swapped over to a little finesse setup, throwing the uh, Nuke Juice Hoodwink from Southern Salt. That's our own personal lure. And I'm gonna throw out there and see if we can get something like a trout, maybe a flounder to bite. Oh, something's biting it. Something was on it. Mm, we're on. What do we got? A doggone ladyfish. Well, if that ain't a way to start the day. <laughs> oh, come here, dude. All right, well, what a way to start the day with a doggone ladyfish. Let's see you, buddy. Those are some super fun fish to catch. They just ain't much for table fare. I've heard a lot of people, I've never tasted them. I've heard a lot of people say that they do not taste good at all.
he don't. There we go. There we go. That's feeling like a flounder. Got us a fish, y'all. It's a good one. Good fish. Come on. Dude, it's feeling like a stud flounder. Come on. Staying down. I think we got a stud flounder. Oh my God, what a fish. All right, come on. We're gonna walk him to the beach. Wow, what a fish. Uh-uh, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, there's rocks right there. This is so dangerous. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, look at this fish. My goodness, what a flounder. This guy just choked the southern salt hoodwink. We did change over to a Cajun pepper color. Y'all look at that stud flounder right here. We got some pliers back here somewhere. There we go. Get that old hook out of you, buddy. All right, y'all look at this beautiful flounder right there. Caught just using this bike, burning up. We've hit so many spots today. This is like our fifth or sixth spot. We've got nine miles marked on the bike. And bam, we got us a stud flounder. Man, that might be the best catch of the day. But we're going to get back in here, see if we can find us another one. What a, just an insane bite. God, I love catching flounder. All right, buddy. We are not keeping the day. So we'll go ahead and get a good release on you. Bye-bye. We'll see you again. Oh man, let's go y'all. All right, let's throw in the same spot. Yep, that was right where he was at. Let's see if we can get us another one. Oh, good thump. He's on. There we go. Oh, no, he came off right there. Son of a gun. There are definitely some fish right here. My goodness. I'm just taking that hoodwink kind of slowly bouncing it just giving it some light little twitches letting it settle back in and we got another one to bite all right y'all we're getting ready to move on to the next location caught one really nice flounder and lost another one had a couple of other short strikes and bites uh but y'all check it out y'all seen me using this e-bike i'm gonna talk a little bit more about it but if this is something that y'all could see yourself out there uh, using to help y'all get on fish, hit that like button. I'd love to see uh, all of y'all's likes and see kind of who, who, who would use it, who wouldn't. And then also just leave a comment on it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hop on this bike, head down, try to find some more fish. All right, so y'all can see we're in pretty soft sand right here. You got the kickstand down, which one of my concerns was that in this soft sand, the kickstand wouldn't really engage and it would fall over. But as you see, the bike is being held upright even in this heavy wind. Soft sand, I'm gonna go ahead and disengage the pedals and we're gonna see if we can take off from a dead stop in this soft sand. Go ahead and power her up. All right, here we go. There we go, just like that. Traveling pretty good. And boom, we are off. All right, so not a bad day riding around. This bike is freaking sweet. I'm not gonna lie, the quality on this thing is just amazing. I just wanna talk to y'all a little bit about some of the features. Uh, we already talked about the fat tire system right there which allows this bike to be completely all terrain y'all saw me run through mud soft sand hard sand highway uh flooded roads uh all of that it handled it fine and maintained speed never once felt like anything was kind of at jeopardy or anything like that it does have headlights right there so if you want to run at night got a little switch right there you can turn your headlights on um has adjustable suspension system right here so i got it set pretty soft but you can tighten it up and uh adjust your suspension right there the battery pack on this guy comes in right here got a plug-in port right there so you can just open up that port plug it in charge it 
it's got a key so if i want to take the battery out take it inside and charge it i can just put the key in right there and do that got front and rear brakes got a shimano seven speed uh shifter on it which is super nice uh, one of the modes that we didn't talk about y'all really didn't see me run today is assist mode so if you want to get the maximum life out of your bike as far as your battery and your range you can pedal the bike and as you pedal it will kick that motor on and assist you and it's really <laughs> you can get to going really fast that way i've gotten it up to about 22 mile an hour uh with assist mode so you do have that option This is your display screen right here. As you can see, we did 11 and a half miles today. 11 and a half miles, and check it out. The battery has not moved at all on it. Um, but you can shift through right there, and you can set different trip modes, run your average speeds, odometers, all that right there. Do have a nice little bell system on there. As we talked about, you got your throttle right there. <clears throat> Just kind of working down through the bike a little bit uh as y'all saw got the rack right there that i attached my milk crate to so if you wanted to put like a cooler on the back a small cooler with some straps or something like that put your rod holders attach it to the cooler uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can rig this thing up to uh attach stuff on the back of it and get you on the water or on the beach fishing uh, you got a nice little brake light right there that lights up you apply the brakes that thing lights up and it it flashes behind you too so to get the attention of cars and stuff like that um i think that's pretty much it on the bike for now but y'all saw us we ran 11 miles today and it's about nine o'clock right now we hit a bunch of different beach front didn't really find much on the beach dove back around some houses and uh got on a decent flounder bike caught one missed one but check it out i do believe that this bike right here is the ultimate beach fishing machine i mean we're able to run 18 19 mile an hour going down the beach um so if you're sitting here fishing and you're seeing jacks or tarpon or anything off in the distance blowing up you're no longer having to run down to it you just hop on your bike and get there really really fast or if you're still searching for fish you can hop on a bike and just cruise down the beach until you see some activity and hop off throw on it you can rig it up a ton of different ways so in my opinion this is going to be kind of a game changer i try to use that word lightly uh, but it really is when you it comes to beach fishing the number one disadvantage is that you're on foot and you really can't you're not mobile right you don't have the speed to move and change locations and just go on down the beach but with this you have the ability uh to do that but anyways go ahead and wrap this video up i hope y'all enjoyed this video uh, also i have an affiliate link down in the description so if y'all want to go on check this thing out maybe it's something you want to uh, get in and purchase for you to be able to get out there and do some shore based land based fishing off the beach stuff like that uh, check out that link and it'll provide y'all a little bit of a discount uh, but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time